Video bandwidth and distribution of Talking Scuba is provided by Blip TV, the next generation television network for independent shows. Do your part by donating today by visiting TalkingScuba.com. Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Talking Scuba. This is episode number 12. I'm Bob Shoemaker, an advanced open water instructor. And I'm Jim Norton, a dive con. Uh, we are a weekly show discussing all different types of diving, from cold, deep wreck diving to shallow, warm reef diving and everything else in between. In this episode, we're going to talk about how my life has changed uh, switching to a new piece of equipment. No kidding. Yep. What are you drinking this day? Uh, I'm still pounding on uh, Captain Morgan here. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't really think that was... A good choice of words. That's okay. You're about three quarters of the way through that bottle. <clears throat> well, anyways, um, I'm drinking, uh, this is called the Sherwood Forest EPA <laughs> from uh, Massachusetts or something. And Great. It's pretty good. Good. Uh, chocolatey aftertaste. Yeah, I tried a little. That was pretty, pretty yeah. refreshing. So, anyways, my life has changed this week. Tell me. How? I started uh, diving a backplate really similar to this one. Really? Just a backplate, no BC. Was it comfortable? Very, very comfortable. Extremely streamlined. I uh, guess how much weight I normally use is about twelve pounds. Guess how much I was using with that thing. Did you have a wetsuit on? I did. Seven mil wetsuit with a hood, gloves, everything. Ten pounds. Zero pounds. Zero. Zero. Aluminum point zero. or steel tank? Steel tank. A low pressure, um, twenty two fifty, uh, steel seventy two. Wow. And I, I was just. I think you're just more relaxed. You concentrate on your buoyancy. It's not like we just did shallow dives. We, we did some deeper dives, uh, about 60, 70 foot. Um, I was really comfortable. I don't know if it's for everybody, but man, I just felt so much more comfortable. So were you kind of neutral, buoyant? Yeah, I was always neutrally buoyant. I think I've gotten so used to using my breathing for adjusting my buoyancy that I wasn't fiddling around with my inflator deflator all the time. Uh, I was just really comfortable. I was listening to uh, Jean-Michel Cousteau. He was on National Geographic. Uh, they have a podcast um, every weekend with Boyd Matson, And I was listening to that, and they had uh, Jean-Michel because it was the 100th anniversary or what would be the 100th birthday for Jacques Cousteau. Oh, wow. Um, and they were doing an anniversary dive out at the first place that they had ever dove the Calypso or dove off of the Calypso. So they were doing a, a uh, dive with them. And, and uh, Jean-Michel... He started talking about how the equipment has overtaken scuba diving. So it has kind of eliminated a lot of, you know, people that are really excited about maybe the underwater world, whether it be the wildlife or the archaeology or, or just being underwater. Uh, it's kind of eliminated, like uh, the price has just kind of eliminated people from exploring uh -huh. because it is so expensive to get into scuba diving. Um, you know, you've, by the time you get a BC, regs, tanks, weights, uh, the training, it, it, it's, you know, twenty five to three thousand dollars. And if you've got a family of four, you know, you're spending a ridiculous amount of money. Oh, yeah. So he was talking about how, um, you know, going back and, and how the scuba industry is pushing equipment so hard um, that it is just become out of reach for some people. Oh. So so I got to thinking about that a lot. And I was like, well, why don't I dive some of that older equipment that, you know, is um just a little bit easier to dive, maybe. I, I don't know. So I tried it out. I have just been thrilled diving it. How uh, big? Every time I kick my fins, I just cruise. I just can really sail. So you're no really low drag. Very low drag. Uh, my air consumption has gotten better, which my air consumption hasn't changed in a couple of years, and my air consumption got better. So I was really excited about that. So I, a lot less work. A lot less work. Um, it is just so much fun to dive. The other reason is... Um, what I was talking about earlier is I don't know if it is for everybody because the BC does eliminate a lot of the learning curve to diving. You know, when you can manually adjust um, really simply your buoyancy in the water. Um, but when you're diving with this back plate or this uh, just with the, with the, the uh, backpack itself, you don't have those options. So you kind of learn to be more in control using your breathing, which I think is really important, um, oh, yeah. especially if you're going to get into, you know, more of the technical diving where you're doing penetration dives, whether it be caves or wrecks or anything like that. Sure. Um, 
<laughs> I just find it really, really exciting that we get to to, to go back to this equipment. Actually, oh, yeah. this week I also took uh, my regulator off my pony tank. Yep. Took off the um, the air gauge and just dove it old style, just like with the J valve. Oh, okay. So. Uh, with the J-valve, if you guys aren't familiar, how this works is before they had submersible pressure gauges, um, you dive your just backpack, you got your your uh, your regulator on there, and as you dove, um, you'd breathe your tank down, obviously, and when you get down to 500 pounds, your regulator would stop. It wouldn't breathe anymore. The valve in here stops at 500 pounds. You reach back, there's a little cable right here. You pull yeah. that down, you've got your reserve. So now you have 500 pounds left. It stops you at 500. You got 500 pounds to get to the surface. Wow. A little bit scary uh, yes. because what if you accidentally had left this in the down position or or along the dive it got snagged on something? Um, but it was it was kind of an exciting way to dive and, and oh, fun to I try it out. Was. My next stop is going to be trying a double hose regulator. I haven't tried oh, one of those boy. yet. I, you call me because I want to try that. You want to try that too? I'd like cool. to try that. I think there's a lot to be learned from the old school. I think there is too. I think that the the way that the industry is going, even the way that the training is evolving, we were talking about this yesterday, how the integrated inflator deflator regulator system has changed the way that we're teaching. Oh yeah. You know how now we're, instead of teaching uh, the traditional style where you're delivering the safe second or we're hiding and delivering the safe second, now we're delivering the primary and, using and going to our safe second. That's kind of a result, I think, of of the integrated inflator deflators. I don't one hundred percent agree with that system. Well, look at the fact that uh, SSI now is not teaching di uh, dive tables. We're yeah. going just with computers. So it is an indi This industry is driven by the gear quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, and that's understandable. I, I'm I'm a gearhead just as much as any other guy. Yep. Um, but sometimes the simplicity is just awesome. Oh yeah. So I've really enjoyed it. Um, totally changed my outlook on diving. Um, I'm really excited about trying some deeper stuff with it. Um, trying, you know, maybe going to a set of doubles on, you know, a double 72s or, or even bigger um, and diving them just without, see what we can do without a bladder. Well, That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And, and you learn a lot about yourself and you learn a lot about your buoyancy. Uh, so I'm really excited. Changed my life. Uh, if you get a chance to dive some different gear, do it. Um, it can totally affect you um, in ways you might not expect. So anyways, uh, I think that's all we have for this week. Um, I'm excited to talk to you next week. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, as well as on our website, talking-scuba.com. Um, you can review all our show notes and links there. Uh, if you want to have your email read live on the air, um, make sure that you're emailing us. That's fans at talkingscuba.com. And we look forward to reading those on the show. And to the next dive. To the next dive. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. <laughs> I hope Judy's coming to get you. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> Just looking at you, huh? <laughs> Every last drop. <laughs> That was a full bottle before we started today. Yep, now you could drink another one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, Jim, you want to drive us to lunch? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>